If you would have asked a Star Wars fan or basically anyone with a brain who has seen a good movie in the last century back in the early 2000s about their opinion of the new Star Wars films, there is a very high chance that they would have responded as the prequels completely ruined the franchise. Everybody hated those films. Even The Simpsons made a reference to these films being so bad. My childhood has been unruined. Which was understandable. You know, there were up and downs in every movie and there were also some good scenes, for example the pod racing, but overall the films alone are just not good. I'm not just talking about bad acting here, I'm talking about major issues these films had. A boring plot, forgettable or bad characters and bad story arcs. For example, in Attack of the Clones, they completely wasted Christopher Lee as Count Dooku by giving him just a few minutes of screen time. The same with General Grievous. He was never mentioned and then showed up in Revenge of the Sith at the beginning and was killed off in the mid of the film with no explanation who he was or where he came from. There were also some major plot holes and storytelling issues, it just didn't feel right to watch these movies. They just suffer from limited time to tell so much story behind. But nowadays, 15 years later, the perception of the prequel era has turned rather positive, to say the least. So why did this change to the opposite? And that's where Dave Filoni comes in. In his early career, Dave Filoni was a storyboard artist for well-known shows like King of the Hill or Disney's Kim Possible, which became major success series. Because he did a very good job as a storyboard painter here, Nickelodeon hired Dave Filoni as a director for the first season of Avatar The Last Airbender. And man, this show was so good because of that it became such a big success. At the same time, Lucasfilm planned a new Clone Wars TV show and was looking for new directors and storyboards artists. After he was hired and did a great job with the first season, George Lucas quickly made him mastermind behind the Clone Wars show. The Clone Wars just was the opportunity for Lucasfilms to tell more stories in more time. More than three films ever could have. Filoni considers himself as a Star Wars fan, he's very passionate about what he's doing and what content he is creating. He tries to think about what he is going to tell. First and foremost, there was more character development and more time for character personality. The best example that comes in my mind are the clones themselves. In the films, the clones were just a completely disposable and emotionless CGI army in the show, they become real individuals. They have their own names, they have their own beliefs. You see them often struggle between their ideological beliefs. You really feel with those soldiers. We also get to see more Jedi and we can experience their background. We also get to see more of Anakin's and Padme's relationship and their development. There are also better backgrounds for the main enemy villains like Dooku and Grievous who get very much screen times and are built to the main villains of the show. Also, we get new exciting characters like Ahsoka and Ventress. The Clone Wars expanded the galaxy. We get to see new places like Mandalore and the Mandalorians who try to stay independent while having their own problems. We also get to see the Separatist point of view. I'm thinking about the episodes about Lux Bonteri there, or Padme traveling to Separatist worlds. We get to see that the whole conflict isn't just black and white, but that there are many individuals with their own interests, like the Huts, the pirates with Hondo, the banking clan, and as already said, the Mandalorians. The show also made Anakin's fall to the dark side way more plausible. You see him slowly drifting from the right path, the way of the Jedi. Also, when he has to use his abilities to save the one he likes or save his friends, like Ahsoka, and you can really feel with him when Ahsoka leaves the Order. It all just builds up directly to the third film, Revenge of the Sith, and it just makes the prequels so much more comprehensible and it makes you feel with the characters. 
So you can say that the Clone Wars carried the franchise for over a decade till then. Kathleen Kennedy once said, There isn't a thing that we do in the storytelling space that I don't check with Dave. What I find about Dave is you don't just sit down and have a discussion about plot or review characters inside the Star Wars world. You end up having a meaningful and thoughtful discussion about what it is we're trying to say inside the storytelling. So what she's saying here is that Dave Filoni has a plan what he wants to say with his story arcs. There is always a deeper meaning or a message behind every story arc they tell. So, what does this specifically mean for the sequels? If you watch at the Star Wars films, character development was always aside from the main titles, which was already like this in the original trilogy. There is a time span of one year between every film of the original trilogy in which the characters develop for example, Luke finishes his training to become a Jedi and builds his own lightsaber before the events of episode 6. But there it wasn't that disturbing and that obvious. The films were just good paced and everything you need to know was explained in these films. In the prequels, the explanation took place in the Clone Wars. In the future, their explanation for the sequels will take place in separate series for this. The Mandalorian already started off this trend and now it's going to continue with shows like Ahsoka and Rangers of the New Republic. These shows will bring new insight to the sequel area and make it way more comprehensible. So what are we possibly going to see in these new shows? I can make a whole video on just speculating what these shows will be about, but the major issues these shows will deal with are that they will bring new insights into the story behind the First Order and Palpatine's resurrection. They're also going to explain what's happening in the galaxy after the fall of the Empire and the destruction of the second Death Star. It will give characters more background and thinking about characters like Admiral Holdo and Hux. These are two characters I could just not take serious in the films and I hope this will change in the shows. It may also give more meaning to places like Cantobite or Exegol, places we have just seen for a short time in the movie but could have made so much more impact. Also, I'm very interested about the explanation of Palpatine's Sith army on Exegol. They already kind of try to tell stories like this with the Star Wars The Resistance show and give a little prequel story to the sequels. But they kind of failed with this show, not many people watch this and it's not really a fan favorite. But I think they have learned of their mistakes, Mandalorian season 2 is the best example for this and I'm very positively looking forward to the new shows. And maybe in the future we are going to have the sequels as positive in mind as we have the prequels now. So that's it for today guys, thanks for watching, as you know I'm a new YouTube channel trying to grow on YouTube. So if you like my content, please feel free to support me. It helps me a lot or leave a like and a comment. So I hope to see you next week.